Welcome to the next test of the fire alarm system that protects this garage. Let's see what we have installed today. By the main door in the garage, I have a wheel lock MT-24-LSM horn strobe. These alarms can do a lot of different tones, and the tone I have it set on for today's test is slow whoop. On the far side of the garage, I have another one installed. It's the exact same as the other MT, but this one is branded by Cerberus Pyrotronics and this one will also be on slow whoop. Slow whoop is a really uncommon tone to hear in an actual building, which is why I have these alarms set on slow whoop for this system test. And if you ask me, this is really ear piercing and kind of unpleasant, so you'll have to let me know what you think once you hear them go off today. For the manual fire alarm pull station, I have a Firelight BG-8 that is mounted behind an STI mini stopper, and the alarm on the mini stopper is not on. For the fire alarm control panel, it is an addressable Kitty FX-64, and then there is the security system that is wired into it, but there's already two wheel lock MTs going off today, so I figured I would leave the siren on the security system disabled since there's already going to be plenty of noise, but I'm sure in the future it will be re-enabled. Alright, to start off the system test, I think we're going to get right into it by pulling the fire alarm. You might want to turn your volume down for this part. So as you can read, it says, in case of fire, lift cover, pull fire alarm. So we're going to lift here and pull away. All right, now I'm gonna reset the fire alarm pull station and I'm gonna do it with the square fire light key. So let's go ahead and do it. And just like that, the pull station is now reset. One thing I like about this panel is that if you silence the alarms and let's say something happens and you need to reactivate the alarms for whatever reason, all you have to do is press the signal silence button once again. Not all panels have this feature. If you needed to reactivate the alarms and you, had, and you didn't have this panel, you would simply pull another fire alarm or activate the drill button or something like that. But for this system, it's really easy. Check this out. Just like that. All right, since the pull station is reset, let's go ahead and reset the entire system. All right, everyone, that's gonna to be today's system test. Since it was kinda of short and these alarms can do a lot of different tones, what I'm thinking is we're gonna leave the alarms the same for the next system test. And in that next system test, I'm gonna switch up the tones on the alarms to something new so you can see some of the other tones that these alarms can do. Thank you for watching this video, rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day everyone.